This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on redemption of debentures. I wish to take care of one sum wherein the redemption of debenture point is being considered. Observe the sum on the screen. The balance sheet of B Limited as on 31st of January 2017 read as follows. Free old property, stock, debtors, cash, bank balance, authorized share capital, issued and subscribed capital, profit and loss account, creditors, proposed due and 12% debentures. At an annual general meeting was resolved to pay proposed dividend 10% in cash. Capital is 2 lakhs, 10% there on is 20,000. There is already existing balance of proposed dividend 20,000. This proposed dividend balance is to be paid. To give the existing shareholders the option to purchase rupees 1, rupees 10 share at 15 for every 4 shares held prior to the bonus distribution and this option is taken by all the shareholders. So right shares are issued, one share is issued against 4 shares held. To issue one bonus share for every 4 shares held, repay the debentures at a premium of 3%, give necessary journal entries and company's balance sheet after these transactions are completed. Now I am required to write down the journal entry. I am also required to prepare balance sheet so I am required to prepare notes on accounts. Let us start with that. This is the details of the sum. Here I am going to write down the journal entries. Here I am going to prepare notes on accounts. On the basis of these notes on accounts I will prepare the balance sheet as per schedule 3. Now first transaction, so these are the titles within which the information will be collected to pay proposed dividend 10% in cash, proposed dividend is 20,000, 20,000 proposed dividend paid in cash. So proposed dividend account debit to bank account credit, that is the journal entry. So I write the share capital, 2 lakhs. 2 lakhs into 10% 20,000 and this proposed dividend 20,000 is given to you as a liability. So proposed dividend account debit to bank account credit being proposed dividend paid. Bank balance is 2 lakh 20,000. From this 2 lakh 20,000, 20,000 is being paid. So write 20,000 on the payment side. That is credit side. So proposed dividend 20,000 paid out of bank balance of 2 lakh 20,000. This is how first entry is recorded and its effect is being demonstrated. Now, to give existing shareholders the option to purchase 1, 10, 1 rupees 10 share at rupees 15 for every 4 shares held prior to the bonus distribution and after that bonus distribution is made. So for 4 shares, 1 right share. How much for 20,000 shares? So 5,000 right shares are given. Share is given at a price of 15. So 15 pays or 70 pays the amount received. So Bank account debit, 75,000 to equity shareholders account credit. Being application money or you can write share application account. Bank account is debited with 75,000. This 75,000 amount received is bifurcated into equity share capital and security premium. So equity shareholders account debit to 5,000 into 10, 50,000 equity share capital. And 5,000 into 15 minus 10, 5. Premium. So security premium account credit 25,000. So share application money transfer to equity share capital and security premium as per resolution of the board. Now bonus is to be given. How much bonus is given? Same way. One bonus share for every four share sale. So four is to one twenty five thousand bonus shares are given. Share is given at a price of rupees 10. So 5,000 into 10, 50,000 is the bonus to shareholders. This bonus to shareholders for that share, share premium amount is being used. So share premium account debit or security premium account debit. The balance will be contributed from profit and loss account to bonus to shareholders 50,000. So 50,000 bonus to shareholders is given 55,000 into 10 and 25,000 is withdrawn from profit and loss account for the purpose of giving bonus. 
being bonus declared to existing shareholders in the ratio of one share for every four shares held. Now, profit and loss account one lakh twenty thousand. From that twenty five thousand is being utilized for the purpose of bonus or deducted. Share premium received is debited, so cancel share premium account. Now, this right shares issued will be added to share capital. Bonus to shareholders account debit to equity share capital account debit. So this fifty thousand also will be added to share capital. So total capital share capital two lakh plus fifty thousand plus fifty thousand. That works out to be three lakhs. And if you divide it in number of shares of rupees ten is thirty thousand shares of rupees ten is. This is how notes on account is being reported. Now to pay the debenture holders at a premium three percent. So one lakh twenty thousand are the debenture debentures account debit. Three percent premium, three thousand six hundred. Premium on redemption of debentures account debit three thousand six hundred to debenture holders account credit. Profit and loss account is debited to write off this premium on redemption of debentures. So profit and loss account debit to premium on redemption of debentures. Profit and loss account is debited. So from balance of profit and loss account three thousand six hundred is deducted. Now you are required to make payment to the debenture holders. Debenture holders account debit to bank account. So bank account is credited for payment to debenture holders. This is a all transaction for which journal entry is being recorded. Now copy the remaining details of the balance sheet. Creditors. Proposed dividend is paid. Twelve percent debenture is paid. Free hold property. Then comes stock inventory, debtors, cash balance, and for bank balance, find out the balance. So two lakh ninety five thousand minus one lakh forty three thousand. So one lakh fifty one thousand four hundred is the closing balance, cash at bank. Now this is how cash and cash equivalent one lakh eighty one thousand four hundred. Now you have to prepare the balance sheet, equity and liability, assets, shareholders fund. These are the titles. Share capital, reserves and surplus, current liability, trade payables, tangible assets, fixed assets, tangible assets, inventory, receivables, cash and cash equivalents. Have the total of equity and liability, and these assets. The total should agree. Five lakh six thousand four hundred. Here also. Five lakh six thousand four hundred. This is our notes on account. As a working note, bank account is prepared. Here the balance sheet is prepared after recording the journal entries for all this transaction. This is how I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel. that you followed all these things thanks to all of